the sea is cruel, but the sea is clean. The cause of this vast purity must be that men at sea are few and far between. Have you good news for me? No, Master. Dead? She still sleeps. You followed my orders? Yes, Master. And the blind man? He has been found. Hmm. Arms for the love of Allah. 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 What? what? Your cur would bark? A fine reward for charity. Charity be false as that coin. Then you cheat, son of a burnt father. A blind man cannot tell true from false. Alas, I cannot tell day from night. It was my dog. How can a dog tell bad from good? See for yourself. No, by the wonder of Allah. It is a false coin. And I myself knew it not. Come, O frequenter of tree trunks. Now, which is the bad one? <laughs> this is no dog, but the reincarnation of a tax collector. <laughs> <laughs> gave the gift of sight to fill your eyes with beauty and delight. Spare me a thought to whom your wondrous world is but a city of eternal night. Arms for the love of Allah. Arms for the love of Allah. Bring him to Arms me. Arms for the love of Allah. Arms for the love of Allah. Pray for me. My name is Halima. I do not know you. Does one always know one's friends? I have none to know. Can you not trust in one who brings not words but deeds? In my house there is food and rest. And what is mine is yours. Why should you offer this? For your prayers. That is much for little. Take my hand. There's no need. My dog sees for me. He gives me more than ever he can receive, like all dogs.
this I know. When the blind man comes to her, she will be cured. Strange master, he can do something all your powers cannot. I make him do it for me and cast him away. But she loves the blind man. Do you call the lisping of two children in a garden love? Love she has yet to learn. And I am here to teach her. Blind beggar, even more unfortunate than you know. That cannot be. But we are unveiled. And I am veiled. Tell us your name. Ahmed. Ahmed. Ahmed, you need beg no more. No journey on. Stay here with us. Oh, sovereigns of silkiness, I am sure you are beautiful. But for me, there is no stain. I must on seeking the one I love, whom I have lost. Men with two eyes often seek all their lives and fail to find that one. Stay. There are great doctors here. They may restore your sight. That will be the blackest day of all my days. You talk in riddles. I will give you the answer. Listen. There was once a king, son of a king and of a hundred kings. His subjects countless, his wealth untellable, his power absolute. And this dog was not a dog, but a youth who lived in Baghdad and became dear to the king. In those days, he was nothing but a little thief. Why do you smell my fish, master of a copper coin? Be off! Be off! Shall I call a car this clubman? Huh? Sixty-five wives were mine. In my heart there was no love. Fifty palaces and I had no home. Richest among my subjects, I was the poorest of the poor. Every desire satisfied, I grew empty of desire. And in my whole vast kingdom, I could find nothing to do. No task, no aim, no purpose. For always my grand vizier Jaffa stood between me and my people.
execution. Why had he to die? He had been thinking, my lord and master. Is it a crime then to think? In a subject, it's quite unpardonable. Are men only to be ruled by fear? Men are evil. Hatred behind their eyes, lies on their lips, betrayal in their hearts. You will learn one day, great king, that there are but three things that men respect. The lash that descends, the yoke that breaks, and the sword that slays. By the power and terror of these, you may conquer the earth. Do I want to conquer the earth? What do you want, my lord and master? I thought I might try to give them happiness. <laughs> happiness. They are fools and knaves. Your grandsire knew it, and if you would know it too, do as he did. One night, when darkness falls, leave your palace, go among your people, mix with the crowds, go into their houses, listen, observe, and remember. Tonight, Jaffa. Tonight, my king. I've never been so close to him. Go, listen, observe, and remember. It is told, though Allah be wiser or more merciful, there was in the past of the ages a king among kings, a master of arms and of armies, of vessels and auxiliaries. And this master of time and people was an oppressor to both, and the earth was as pitch in the faces of his subjects and his slaves. And they What's groaned together in secret. Why, I don't them. know. Is it the king he's talking about? Don't ask questions. There are spies everywhere. You must be careful in Baghdad. I'm a stranger here. Surely you can tell me what the old man's talking about. Oh, about foolish hopes. About a prophecy. About a liberator. Huh. Only fools and children believe it. A liberator indeed. Not while Ahmed is king. They groaned together in secret and were slain in the marketplace. But a wise man among the sages of Baghdad comforted them with a prophecy, saying in the fullness of years a liberator shall come upon him, and this shall be the sign of him. He shall be the lowest of the low, and you shall look for him in the clouds. And the people cried, we shall look for him in the clouds indeed, for if the great are powerless to save us from this tyrant, how can one of no account avail? And the reader of the Milky Way replied, have faith, trust in Allah. For there, one day in the blue, you shall see a boy, the lowest of the low, mounted upon a cloud. But the cloud shall be as strong as the hills beneath the snow, and from the ranges of the sky, he shall destroy this tyrant with the arrow of justice. What is the name of the tyrant? Oh, Amen. 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 I wish the miracle would happen today. I wish he would die today. Arrest him, put him in prison. When he says he's a king, tell them he's a madman. His friends and all who might be loyal to him must be destroyed. I learned that night not that men are evil, but that he was evil. When he persuaded me among my people, he laid a trap for me. I was thrown into prison. And there in prison, my life began. For there I met the one who was to become my only true friend. Abu, the little thief of Baghdad. For only very little thieves are thrown into prison. No money, no money, present. Don't put me in present, no. Hermie, thief. Cut off his right arm, and then his left, and then his left leg, and then his right, and then his head. No, 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 I say no, no, please, no. Don't kill me, I don't want to die. Tomorrow morning. And there's for the madman. Our great Sultan Jafar is merciful, only his head, as the sun rises. No! 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 Poor boy, they've driven you mad. Me mad? They just said you were mad. Are you really mad? That 
That's it. I'm mad. I must be mad. Maddest of all the madmen that ever lived in the Sultan's palace. You are mad, quite mad. What's it matter? In the morning, unless the sun stops still and never rises, we both die. The thief and the madman. And I don't want to die. <laughs> you are not mad. And maybe we shall watch the sunrise from over the river. Didn't you hear the jailer? As the sun rises. As the sun rises? We'll take a boat. Go down to the sea. I've never seen the sea. But I've heard the sailors on the riverside talk about it. In the sea are fishes as big as the great temple. Little ones as tiny as my little finger. With wings and boats as big as Baghdad itself. With sails as big as clouds. And when the wind blows, they go as fast as antelopes and carry you to the isles of India and China. The Isles of India and China, uh, we are locked in prison. The axe will fall as the sun rises. You say you're not mad. Look. What's that? The key of the prison. I just stole it. The key? Give it to me. Steady, steady. You want someone to look after you. We can't go now. Why not? We must wait. In an hour, they will eat. After they eat, they sleep. Then we go. <laughs> get away. Do you want us to be killed? Do you think they will have mercy on us? Don't you think if the king knew he'd be merciful? The king was a fool. I hope he suffers as much as he made the people suffer. Do you hate him so much? Everybody hated him. Oh, if I could only lay my hands on him, just once, if I could only tell him what a fool he was. Tell it now. I'm, I'm at the king. Speak. Ahmad the king is dead. He died yesterday. There's a new king, Jeffer. Look! Jeffer would not make all that fuss over me. He would not send the whole guard after me. Mercy, master, I'm your slave. Leave me at least one arm for small stealing. And I'll pay you twice as much in taxes. What's your name? I'm Abu the thief. Son of Abu the thief. Grandson of Abu the thief. Most unfortunate of ten sons with a hunger that yawns day and night. Get up, my little friend. We must return to Baghdad. How can you be such a fool? I mean, my king would be killed. Dead king and a dead thief cannot do much, you know. If your fingers are as nimble as your brain, you are indeed the prince of thieves. Come on, let's catch the morning breeze. That will carry us to freedom. Freedom. Strange, I've had everything but freedom. And I've had nothing but freedom. And now we've got it. What shall we do with it? Anything we like. In three days, we shall be in Basra. Here, take this pole. Push! Sailing out to sea, no plow but tinker tailors, any fun to be. Aunts and cousins by the baker's dozens, drive a man to sea or hire a robbery. I want to be a bandit, can't you understand it? Sailing to sea is life for me, is life for me. Abu! Basra! Basra! <laughs> Bad 
has. How beautiful it looks. It of eating pancakes without honey. But how can you steal honey? All I give is the pancakes and he will provide honey. Honey! 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 Yes, we are thinking of buying some. Uh, a jar or two. Jar? Uh, if it's good honey. Best in Basra. Easy to say. First I must try. Taste it better. What do you think? No. No, not good enough. No. Your bees are out of humor. Ah! Take better care of them. Is that you have to turn them around? Hey, old friend. Whose palace is this? Why, the palace of a sultan. Children of ignorance. The palace of a thousand toys. Toys? Where have you come from? You beggars of no importance. Don't you know that the Sultan has the greatest collection of toys in the world? Why toys? The Sultan is an old man. And old men are like children. He guards his toys more jealously than he guards his daughter. Uh, but I say no more. Now out of my way, you masters of a thousand fleas. I'll be with you. But I doubt it. Thank you. 
found some bad the sailor. And he has given us two places on his ship. It is more wonderful than I'd ever imagined. And on the next tide, she sails. I can't go. I must see her again. But Ahmad, all my life I dreamt of going in a great ship across the world. I can't go. I must see her again. If I help you to see her, will you then come with me? I will. Music of a love song is as heavy as a noonday air. Let us wait for the nightingale in the night. To the pool. Remember always to a genie, you must tell the truth. You don't look wicked. Are you a good genie? Not too good. Very good genie are just as tiresome as very good men. Do you live down there? No. Why have you come? To see you. I was about to bathe. I'm waiting. Bathe with you there? Give me your hand then. Down into the water. Jeannie, you've gone. I didn't mean you to go so soon. Shall I never see you again? Never? Don't be afraid. I'm not a genie. Who are you? Your slave. Where have you come from? the other side of time to find you. How long have you been searching? Since time began. Now that you found me, how long will you stay? To the end of time. For me, there can be no more beauty in the world but yours. For me, there can be no more pleasure in the world than to please you. Be here in the 
garden tomorrow at the same hour? There's a gardener here who watches night and day. His name is Death. You mustn't come. Forbid me then. I cannot forbid. I can't go. Why not? You have seen her again. That's why I can't go. Because I have seen her. All right. And I'll go alone. If you go there tomorrow again, how will you pass the guard without me to help? Oh, I'll find a way. You'll be caught. You'll stay with me? Oh, Abu, why should you? You have as great a longing in your soul as I have. Why should you stay with me? Because I'm as great a fool as you are. of hospitality. You know, I have the largest collection of these mechanical devices in the whole wide world. And this is the most remarkable of them all. It, it, it tells the time. See how it works? Sheer magic, isn't it? I hope this dangerous device will never be allowed into the hands of the people. Dangerous? Yes. If people once begin to know the time, they will no longer call you the king of time. They will want to know how time is spent. Oh, you're right. Oh, the, the people must never know. Look, come. Oh, see. Such workmanship. <laughs> such, such precision. Such reliability. I do so prefer these things to my subjects. Watch. Watch. See. Uh, no, no. That's the finest of them all. See. I have only to wind a key or press a spring, and they do exactly the same thing every time, and exactly what I want. And so often my subjects fail to do exactly what I want, and then I have to have their heads cut off. Reflection oh. is indeed magnificent, and so near completion too. Near completion? But have you know my collection is the most complete completion? Please do not misunderstand me. I am well aware that nothing short of a miracle could add luster to this already dazzling display. But such a miracle does exist. A mechanical toy better than, than, than any of mine? Knowing of your interest in these matters, I have brought it with me. Well, let's see it. Let's see it. Quickly, quickly. Oh, I can't bear to be kept waiting.
good wine that you sell. What's it going to do? Move its legs, or arch its neck, or, or wag its tail? It doesn't kick, does it? To tell you the truth, I'm always rather nervous of these things till, till I know what they're going to do, till I get, till I get used to them. It wants a winding. If your highness would mount. And now, pull the reins. entirely about founding a dynasty, a delightful thing to do. I've tried myself many times. And what have I got? A daughter. The true offspring of the mother of miseries. And their eyes have quarreled. They're always trying to get at one her another. Her eyes are Babylonian eyes. And her eyebrows like the crescent moon of Ramadan. Her body is straight as a letter Aleph. How do you know? I've seen her. Oh, no, you haven't. I have. Well, my crystal. Oh, confound your crystal. Confound all crystals. I always detect the things. I... Are you a magician? I have some skill. Oh, say no more. I... Anyhow, I... I must have this horse. So I suppose you must have my daughter. Mm. I will never marry him. I would rather die. I will go to my sister, who is married to the Sultan of Samarkand. She will protect me. Go back to the garden. You will find someone there whom we thought was the genie of the pool. Tell him of our misfortune and tell him that I will wait for him in Samarkand. Yes, princess. She's gone. We have searched the whole garden. We have found only two beggars. Bring them here. Face to face, man. 
man to man, sword to sword. Give me a sword. Allah will judge. Great Sultan, I speak the truth. My eyes bear witness. Amen. Expenses of bounty, you know, why a blind man with his dog searches the world for a lost love and with little enough hope. Yet without that hope, there would be nothing. And Allah is merciful. Allah is merciful indeed. For the one that you seek is here. If you mock me, Allah will not forgive. I do not mock. Your princess was captured by slave traders and sold here in our slave market. The richest merchant in the town bought her. But no sooner was she taken to his house than she fell into the strangest trance. She lives, but is as dead. No doctor can restore her. Night and day, she calls upon the genie of the pool. I was that genie. And you alone can bring her back to life. Can you take me where she is? This is no dream. Suffering has left its mark. For me, your beauty will always be as I first saw it. Never changing. Your eyes, they're so strange. So full of pain. One cannot go through fire and not be scorched. Ahmed, you must go. The master's returned. I will hide you. When the master sleeps in the heat of the noon, I'll bring her to you. Mine. You belong to the princess as well. 
Stay and guard her for me. Blind. He's blind. It is in your power to restore his sight. There is in this town a famous doctor who would, at your request, cure him. Take me. Is the doctor here, on this ship? Yes, he's waiting for you. Dogs lie. Hmm? Hmm. Strange how an unpleasant child can be a decent dog. Throw him overboard. It's always, Jaffa. Since you left your palace, I have kept you safe. When you rode hopeless and lost in the desert, who guided you? When you were sold in the slave market, who bought you? Always, Jaffa. It was in my house you were cared for to sleep your sleep and dream to its end your first dream of love. It was I. Who woke you? No. It was Ahmed. I was told there was a doctor here who could restore his sight. <laughs> but I am that doctor. same moment that I hold you in my arms, Ahmed will see. Take me in your arms.
ship? What good are my eyes to me without her? Is there nothing for you without her? Nothing. that could force you to my will. But I want more than they can give me. I want your love. Forget Armand. He's no longer blind. And for men with eyes, the world is full of women. Only I am cursed. But I can see only you. <laughs> Trying to end your life before it has begun. I tell you, Ahmed has forgotten. Look! It's Ahmed!
nice to me. You behave like a slave girl. I am a slave girl. You could command me. Try. Ask what you will. Would you take me back to Basra? Helmsman! Right back! Now flip to Basra! It is the most beautiful garden in the world. If there were ever flowers in it, they vanished like camphor, and the pool so dark with weed. You can't even see your own reflection in it. I'm not looking for my own reflection. Father, I don't want to go to Baghdad with Jaffa. But my dear. Don't let him take me. Oh, there, 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 there. <laughs> if you don't want to go to Baghdad with him, you shan't. No, never, 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 never while I live. There, there. Oh. Will do that. Her embrace will thrill her as no other woman ever has or ever will. You mean I might get rid of all my wives? Have a collection of these things?
Make ready for Baghdad. shall lift my foot and crush you. Insect, beetle, worm that you are. But chink of spades, I fished you out of the sea. I opened your bottle, I let you out. You can't be so ungrateful. Ungrateful? Slaves are not grateful. Not for their freedom. <laughs> Listen. Inside my bottle for the first thousand years, I swore that I'd enrich the one that freed me with all the riches of the earth. But in the second thousand years, my imprisoned spirit turned to vengeance on all that lived and were free. And I swore that I'd kill him that freed me to satisfy that hate. Are you ready? Wait, 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 wait! Please, before I die, may I? May I ask one question? Ask. You speak as a mountain without ever getting to that bottle I can hold in my hand. You weren't ever in it, really, were you? Of course I was. Oh, no, you weren't. I was. You weren't? What? You dared out? If I'm going to die in a moment, I can dare anything. And I say it's impossible. Impossible? And I don't believe you. Take care. I never shall. Never? Nothing can make me. Nothing? Nothing. Unless I see it with my own eyes. Then, dog of an unbeliever, before you die, you shall see with me nothing is impossible. You shall see and believe. <laughs> Because you were bigger than me, you thought you could bully. Let me out! Let me out! A product of inflation, descendant of a stink, let you out? <laughs> I'm going to try back into the sea, this time forever. Oh, no, mercy, mercy, old oh, master. What's that? Oh, great and merciful master. Say that again. Oh, great and merciful master, let me out and I'll bring you three wishes. Three wishes? Your no, first three wishes shall come true. You swear? I swear. By King Solomon, Master of all the Jinn? By King Solomon, the Master of all the Jinn, the oath that no spirit can break. And you'll behave? No threatening or shouting? No. No what? No, Master. And now, don't make so much noise again. You frightened me before. <laughs> I hear and obey. That's better. All bullies must learn manners in the end. I'm hungry. Can't think with my stomach empty. 
I wish I had some of those sausages Mother used to make. Your sausages, Master? the first wish, Master. Two more remain. Name them. Don't you hurry me. I've got to be careful. Two more. You know what I wish? Tell me, where's my friend Ahmad? Master, to know that, you must look into the all-seeing eye. And give me the eye. Master, I can take you where it is, but not even I can steal it for you. Steal? <laughs> I'll see you that. Little braggart, what have you ever stolen? What haven't I? Key from his lap, ring from his finger, money from his purse, the scent of a genie. And the tongue of a liar. But he who would steal the all-seeing eye from the very brow of the goddess must be neither a thief nor a braggart, but a hero. I always wanted to be a hero. Come on. Then catch on to my hair. All right, but mind you, this is not my second wish yet. Now I'm rather helping you. Yes, master. Supported by seven pillars, and the seven pillars are set on the shoulders of a genie whose strength is beyond thought. And the genie stands on an eagle, and the eagle on a bull, and the bull on a fish, and the fish swims in the sea of eternity. peak of the highest mountain of the world, where earth meets the sky, and there is the temple of the dawn, and in the great hall of the temple is the goddess of light, and in the head of the goddess is the all-seeing eye. And a hero all in one.
a hero. <laughs>
this the all-seeing eye? Not for 2,000 years will she grow another. For a hundred generations of men, she will not know their doings. Now, shall I know what happened to Ahmed? Look. Look hard. It's true, it's Ahmed. To years to obey, little master of the world. Hold tight, little brother. We have to return half across the world. see her again. Is that all? I don't need to waste a wish for that. Look. What's that? Look into it hard, hard. Keep staring into it. You'll see her. It's true. That, that, that's the blue rose of forgetfulness. If she inhales its fragrance, she'll forget everything.
Who are you? I don't know. I'd forgotten. Why have you suffered? Have I suffered? I don't remember. Seems I was in love. Whom did you love? I cannot tell. I don't know any longer. I can't look anymore. There are worse things than blindness. Knowledge could be more terrible than ignorance if one can do nothing. Why did you give me this? Take it back and break it into a thousand pieces. I only stole it to help you. You stole it because you enjoy stealing. Without my stealing, you'd be dead. I wish I were dead. I wish I'd never seen you. I wish... I wish I were in Baghdad. I wish you were. Where you wished him, on his way to Baghdad. Then take me out of this place. Don't you hear? I want to get out. You stay where you are. You're a clever little man, little master of the universe. But mortals are weak and frail. If their stomach speaks, they forget their brain. If their brain speaks, they forget their hearts. And if their hearts speak... <laughs> if their hearts speak, they forget everything. Am I not your master? No longer. You've had your three wishes, and I'm free! Free! Jenny! Jenny! Come back! Don't leave me here! Don't let me die! Jenny! And farewell, little master of the universe! Farewell! Free! <laughs> Everything of the past is forgotten. You have been in love with me. You are in love with me. You will always love me. Everything of the past is forgotten. I have been in love with you. I am in love with you. I shall always love you. Forgive me. I have no regrets. 
We are together. And shall be for the rest of our lives. We shall never again know the torture of being apart. And if death is not the end, we shall go on together. Abu and I parted quarreling. I wish I could tell him I'm sorry. Abu, my friend. Goodbye and forgive me. No, I won't say goodbye. I'll help. But how? How? If I can't help, I won't. <laughs> Father of a beard. There's some mistake. I'm not a prince. I'm only a thief. For you, we have been waiting twice 2,000 years. Oh, no, not waiting for me. Because I didn't know I was coming, and I don't know how I've come. Who are you, Father of Miracles? And where am I? This is the land of legend, where everything is possible when it's seen through the eyes of youth. We are the remnant of the Golden Age. Golden because gold was nothing. No more than the sand beneath your feet, or the stone that we became. How did you become stone? We were petrified with horror for the evil done among men when they ceased to be children and to believe in the beauty of the impossible. And whenever the heart of a child returns to us and comes into us, we live again. And so, as that child, you are to be my successor. Now, come with me. And I will present you with two insignia of true kingship. Here they are. Aim this only at injustice, and you cannot fail. Oh, no, Father of Kindness. I don't want it. I don't want to be a king. I only want to save my friend. Well, this will help you. Take it. And now, I do homage for our king. And all in our kingdom is yours. Except that carpet, which I keep for myself. For on that carpet, which flies when it is bidden, fly carpet, I shall go to paradise at the hour appointed. It is told, though Allah is wiser or more merciful, there was in the past of the ages a king among kings, 
a master of arms and of armies, of vessels and auxiliaries. And this master of time and people was an oppressor to both, until the earth was as pitch on the faces of his subjects and his slaves, and they groaned together in secret and were slain in the marketplace. But a wise man among the sages of Baghdad had comforted them with a prophecy, saying in the fullness of time a liberator shall come upon you, and this shall be the sign of him. You don't much like stealing. I'll never steal again. You can trust me just this once more. Just this little carpet so as to get to Baghdad in time. When the old king's hour comes, he won't want a carpet to fly to paradise. Then you, O Allah, will take him by the hand, gentle and kind as he is, and lead him into a tenant place. Aren't I right? But I must go to Baghdad to save my friend. It's a question of minutes. You must see that. Oh, well, uh, Lord of Justice, let me steal. Fly, carpet. Wait! Fly, carpet! little time left to see him. The people cry, we shall look for him in the clouds indeed. For if the greater power is to save us from this tyrant, how can one have no account of it? The reader of the Milky Way replied, have faith, trust in Allah. For there one day in the blue you shall see a boy, the lowest of the low, mounted on a cloud. And that cloud shall be as strong as the hills beneath the snow. And from the ranges of the sky, he shall destroy this tyrant with the arrow of justice.
everything to Abu. And when he grows into a man, he shall be my grand vizier. He shall be sent to the best school in Baghdad. And all the wise men of the East shall teach him all the wisdom of the world. He shall be the wisest of men. And in those future days, when he will be full of knowledge, science, and dignity, he will be the shining example for the youths of Baghdad. And they may remember how the little thief became the dignified... Hi, Abu! Where are you going? You've got what you wanted. Now, I'm going to find what I want. What's that? Some fun! An adventure at last! <laughs> with us on a ship of adventure to meet the thief of Baghdad in that ancient land of mystery, romance, thrills, and excitement. Baghdad, city of magic. Baghdad, where breathtaking miracles leap before your eyes.
was a rich and powerful king in Baghdad. And there was a lovable little thief. <laughs> Leave your palace, go among your people, mix with the crowds. Then fate threw together the powerful king and the little thief on the road to strange adventures. No man has ever seen her, nor shall, till her father gives her in marriage. Now that you found me, how long will you stay? To the end of time. With the thief of Baghdad, producer Alexander Corder takes you on a magic carpet to the seven wonders of the world of entertainment. The murderous dancing doll, the amazing flying horse, <laughs> the giant genie, the temple of light, home of the mysterious goddess, and the all-seeing eye. Filmed in Technicolor, The Thief of Baghdad presents Sabu, star of Elephant Boy and Drums, as the lovable little thief. Comrade Veidt, international star of stage and screen. June Dupre, the sensation of Four Feathers. John Justin, newest court of discovery. And Rex Ingram, as the giant genie. Can I be merciful? It's a real genie. Yes, he's mine. I'm his master. <laughs> Alexander Corder brings you spectacular new thrills in the miracle picture of all time, The Thief of Baghdad.